Hello Malt Mates, I'm Ralphie and welcome to The Bothy where I spend most of my time reviewing Scotch single malt whisky. But not just Scotch single malt whisky, I also review other spirits as well now and again just to remind my viewers um, and to remind whisky drinkers that there are other spirits out there which are wonderful malternatives. So they are an alternative as an experience, smell and taste, for malt drinkers. And I'm going to take this opportunity to introduce in 2022, at the end of the year, three great alternative spirits that you should consider looking into for trying in 2023. And it doesn't matter whether you've just been tasting Scotch whiskey and bourbons for maybe a year or two. It's always a good time to consider having an alternative spirit in your cabinet because some nights we just pour a whiskey, we smell it, we taste it and our senses just say no because it's had, they've had too much. It's, it's just the overload of familiarisation and this is where an alternative really comes into its own as well as the fact that it helps to educate our palate. If we are focused just on bourbon or scotch whiskey or blended whiskey, we tend to have similar experiences at the end of the day. Not something we'll notice over a year and a couple of years, but over a decade or so, we get institutionalized in our own palates and we stop exploring. And we need to have this stimulation of alternative smells and taste to keep us fresh and keep us refreshed in our hobby and our interest. So I have th here three classic examples of quality, really good quality spirits that are not whiskies, but I'm going to recommend them to you. Starting with Armagnac. Armagnac is the southern cousin to cognac. Here's my bottle. It's a good one. It's generally cheaper than cognac. It's generally widely available, but it's also generally overlooked. This is a grape spirit. And unlike the pretensions and the price leveraging that you get on many cognacs. With Armagnac, there's, there's, more in, there's more decency about it. There's a bit more integrity to it. The thing about Armagnac is that unlike cognac, which spends 100% of its time maturing in oak casks, Armagnac can spend a number of years maturing in glass flasks. And the dogma says, well, if it's in glass, it's inert and it's not doing anything. And this malt, mates, is simply not true. Spirits do mature in glass vessels. They just mature in a different way than they do in oak casks or other wooden casks. So have a look at what's around you in terms of availability of Armagnac and give it some consideration. This one's 15 years old. It's roughly the same price as a 12 year old Scotch whiskey. My next alternative is a rum. This rum is J. Bailey. This is the Millisium, Millisium, that's it, the Millisium 2002. This is an old matured rum from Mauritius. Excuse me a second. <laughs> I'm going to double check that. From Martinique. Well, they both begin with M. <laughs> I've been, it's bottled at 43% and I have been really, really enjoying this rum. I will be reviewing this rum in 2023. It's that good. And finally, we're going to the United States. Yeehaw! 
a great option to your standard bourbons is rye. Rye whiskey. Enormously pungent. Enormously distinctive. This is a straight rye whiskey aged six years bottled at 45% volume. Extra strength, extra flavour. It's got an age statement on it. Age and rye go really well hand in hand. Rye can continue aging for decades and decades. Rye whiskey is probably the least explored, most misunderstood grain whiskey out there. Why? Because the young versions like wild turkey and all the rest of it, they're so pungent. They're too pungent actually. But Things are just beginning with rye. There's an awful lot of engineering and development and innovation going on behind the scenes globally with rye whiskey using alternatives to oak like spruce, like pine, like fir wood. These aromatic woods with an aromatic spirit and then giving it some time just to mature and settle down. The, the flavour bomb that you get at the end of it is just something totally different. So here's the one I'm going to be reviewing for you. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll review all three of these in 2023. These are my alternatives. And do you know what? As whiskey drinkers, we all need a change now and again. We really do. Just a change, change of pace, a change of flavour, a change of temperament, a change of, just, change of spirit. I'm Ralphie, hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this inspires you. If it has, leave a comment, click subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, because I'm going to keep you up with whiskey reviews and spirit reviews, right throughout 2023. And don't forget, malt mates, I have got a Patreon channel. It's called Ralphie, R-A-L-F-Y. You'll find a link in the description box below. And just for the for a wee dram each month, that's all it is, just a wee dram, you get access to live streams and additional content, an additional video every week in which I address some sort of less obvious subjects. I'm done here now. I'm going to go and put the kettle on and have a cup of tea. And once I've done that, I'll light the fire. And once I've done that, as the, the we get to the end of the day, I think I'm going to pour myself a glass of this rum, shut my eyes, and take myself to the Caribbean. And I don't even need to catch a plane. <laughs>